Recently, so much has been going on in the U.S., much less the whole world. This particular country is currently reeling from the death of George Floyd. As if it wasn't bad enough, some of those rioting were even wearing their face masks or six feet apart. I hate to think where well, they'll be soon. And on top of that, we live in a country that has passed a real COVID-19 milestone this past week. Mark Galley and the Galley Report wrote that over 100,000 people have died and counting. If we were to take a moment of silence for just every American who died of the coronavirus, we wouldn't speak for a day, a week, a month, but just short of 70 days. That's a somber, hushed, unrelenting remembrance. Now just imagine the whole world with this pandemic. We may not speak until there's a vaccine. So what do we do in the meantime? Nathan Kilpatrick got me to thinking about the present and the future. At this present time, we pray, study the Bible, and worship God in the privacy of our homes. I hope these daily Facebook and email devotionals plus our Zoom services help. It's very important to stay connected with the glue that always held us together, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. As I've said before, please continue to call, mail, email, and do FaceTime. But what about the future? Dr. Kilpatrick wrote that there are three possible futures in terms of one, he called it a blizzard. That's a storm that hits and then passes away. What did we learn while we were hunkered down? Number two, he calls a winter. That's a season of sheltering place for a while, and it could be that this season won't change until there's a vaccine. Third is what he called a little ice age. That's a longer period of time when history will remember this as the before and after the crisis and how we not only survive but also thrive by nothing less than the presence of the Lord. Will you thrive by the presence of the Lord however long it lasts? When it comes to priorities, who's your number one priority? Can you and the Lord wait this one out and come out fine at the end of the time? We find answers to that throughout the scriptures. David over in the 27th Psalm said, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Again, he said in the 37th Psalm, wait for the Lord and keep his way and he will exalt you. In the 130th Psalm, he said, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits. And in his word, I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman wait in the morning. More than the watchman wait in the morning. And over in the New Testament, there in the Acts of the Apostles, listen to that first chapter. Jesus appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. And on one occasion while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift the Father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized you with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And then later on, as Paul wrote to the church in Galatia, Galatians 5.5, 5, By faith we eagerly await, though the spirit of the righteousness for which we hope. And again to the church in Thessalonica, 1 Thessalonians 1.10, Wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues you from the upcoming wrath. Then again, over in Titus, we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So wait for the Lord. Let us pray. 
Lord, you know what's going on in the midst of this, our Father's world, with unrest and a pandemic. Only you know how long this may last. Help us to patiently and faithfully wait on you and spend this time well in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you don't remember anything else, please remember this. Wait for the Lord. And God bless you. Amen.